peace and shalom. My name is my brother Abe. I'd like to welcome you back to another day at um, God, uh, God's ministry at other posts. Um, the Holy Spirit wanted me um, to pass a quick message that said, hey, um, this morning I was in heart and worship. I was so hard in worship that I was singing loud. <laughs> and I can't sing. Like, I got, I spit bars, you know, but I cannot sing for my life. <laughs> I sound, you know, sound worse than a cat, you know, but, you know, I was just praising God, praising God hard. It's like, it was so, so loud and so strong. And my neighbor came up to me and he said, what was you, what was you singing? I said, oh, that was my worship music, and I worship God, praise God. He was like, yeah, man. He said, that's what I'm talking about. He said, when I, I came out, I, he said, I felt it myself. I was like, yeah. Um, but then during the time um, with the, the messages, um, the Holy Spirit wanted me to tell everybody to be careful, make sure you got your protection on, the, the blood, because there's a, um, while I was praising the Father, I felt a, a, a very dark presence that was um, trying to come near me um, and trying to cause something to happen while I was praising my father. I didn't care, I was just gonna praise him. But anyway, um, the, actually the person who came up to me, um, I was wondering why, you know, I well, for the praise, they let me know that, you know, they were loving the music I was playing. And, um, but they had um, got into an accident um, and it was laid off. So I was like, you know, um, the, fa uh, the father like kept, um, placing that image in my mind of what the person was telling me and showing me what happened to the, the person into the thing. So I was like, okay, I was like, and then um, there was another accident that someone I know was involved in, um, super fall, and then the father wanted me to be uh, very careful as well. Um, as far as I let people know about the accidents that these um, demonic forces are trying to cause um, in, um, in people's and people's lives. So um, he wanted me to tell you to plead the blood over your cars when you're traveling, um, over you, your, tra your family, your children, um, to plead the blood over everything. Um, so this way, you know, if anything happens, you are protected and um, as much as possible. And I pray right now, I lift you up a prayer in the name of Jesus to draw my I pray that the angels are before you and go before you and protect you from any physical harm, accidents, or any snares or traps of the enemy, Satan, Lucifer. And I pray that you are kept safe by the angels that are charging you. I send you right now, angels. Um, you say you send your angels concerning us. May you send your angels concerning each listener, and your family, children, and loved ones, to protect them, to give them the extra protection that's needed. I plead the blood of Jesus over their cars, their vehicles, over their physical body, so no harm can come to them. So they are protected and shielded like a barrier and cushion in, in, in your power and your authority and your word and the angels, the hands reached out, protecting them, protecting them from all accidents in any shape, or way, or form. Father, I pray that you send the angels before these accidents and to meditate and make sure that everything of these people who are listening are protected. And so they're kept safe from all ac accidents so they cannot go out or go into the place of the accidents. So they would miss the place of the accidents or any appointments from the enemy for people to have the accidents that they've always missed it. In the name of Jesus, Yeshua HaMashiach. And Father, I pray that you confuse the enemy um, who is trying to cause accidents um, in any shape or way or form upon the listeners lives. In the name of Jesus, Yeshua HaMashiach. And thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus, Yeshua HaMashiach. Amen. So, uh, yeah, I'm just going to uh, upload this real quick. We'll take a little rest. Father, had me taking a rest. I was doing, I've been doing a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Father was like, rest. I'm obedient to, to the Abba. He knows that. But, you know, um, when this thing's going on, I don't know. There's just something in my spirit. It's like, I can't rest. I can't. I got to I gotta do this. I got to do that. Like, but I have to be obedient to the Abba. Um, you know, I, I don't. Like, it's hard to rest for me. It's like, I don't know, it's like a, a soldier being taken out of a war that he loves to fight in battle. Like, like um, I don't know. I, I just feel like that. That's, that's my spirit, you know. I, I like to be in the war, um, um, in the trenches. Uh, that goes with the Father wanted me to talk about also. Um, 
there, there are people that the father saying, they might even come to my page and might not take me as someone who's of the body of Christ. And, and the father wanted me to say, you know, uh, be very careful what you feel and think about people because uh, you never know who the father's touching and raising up. And that person that the father may touch and raise up may be the same person that may save your life, that may, may, may save you and your family and your children's life because of the prayers being done and set forth from people like me or just people who just don't look like they're part of the body of Christ. Um, you know, he's raising up a lot of people that just don't look like the normal uh, church people, you know? Excuse me, um, sometimes, you know, people when they brought into the to the body of Christ, sometimes they was defiled by the world. Some, some of them have tattoos and and just, you know, um, even though it's it's in a it's one of the um the sins and rules not to um, defile your body with tattoos and stuff like that. But, you know, the Father is merciful and forgiveness. That's why he sent Yeshua Hamashiach. And we are forgiven, we have the grace, you know, so you know, even those who are in the body of Christ who have tattoos, I'm just saying, just putting this out. Because I've been through a lot of situations. I had to help people with that situation. It was because of that, because of their um, tattoos that like people were just pushing them away. And I told I told the people with the tattoos to to cover your um, your tattoos with the blood of the lamb, the blood of the lamb, the blood of Christ, and the Holy Spirit. Um, and ask for forgiveness, but cover it. So I cover you with my, all my tattoos and my body with the Holy Spirit, with the blood of the Lamb. And so whatever has been defiled, it's, it's, it's been released and forgiven on your body. You know? So when people see you, they don't, they don't see the tattoos. They see you. They see, they see a pure uh, vessel for the, uh, for the Holy Spirit. They see, um, they see God Almighty um, you know, working through you and, and, um, and doing the things that you're supposed to do. So I, I'm just, the Holy Spirit was just taking me there, I don't know why, but um, maybe just people who, who just feel um, rejected because of tattoos, you know, um, we make mistakes. There's nobody perfect who's been in the world, who's been into certain things um, when they was in the world, but now they're out of it. They've been in the background, afraid to come out because they're afraid what, um, um, some people of the body of Christ, you know, who are truly in the body of Christ, and just some people who are, who are just ignorant and, and, and will cause people to be uh, feel ashamed, you know. We, 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 we need to do away with that. This is the reason, oh boy, here God, Holy Spirit is talking now. This is the reason why um, the first churches, uh, not the first early churches, but the churches that drift off from the word, that went into tradition. Um, you know, a lot of people used to go to church and um, used to be talked about um, by uh, people, church members, made them feel uncomfortable, made them feel um, embarrassed of their past or, or, or was jealous of their walk and stuff like that with God. And they're coming into a church and they, if they feel unwelcome when it's supposed to be a place of fellowship. But like all these things are being do, done away with. The, um, the Father Abba is taking care. This is why most of the stuff that's, that's happening is happening with the church first because that has to be done away. There's, I mean, literally, you, you're you going to know when you're part of the body of Christ because when you have a problem, ain't nobody going to be talking about your problem. They're going to go into prayer for your problem, for a solution. And, and nobody in the real body of Christ got any time to be talking about people, putting people down, or because they, they slipped up, they fell short, they said, we ain't got time to be looking at that. We got time to look at it for a solution. We're going into prayer right away. Soon as somebody, one of our brothers and sisters fall, we go into prayer. We lift them up in prayer. We don't talk, go behind their backs after they leave us. We, we, don't, we don't do that. That's not the real body of Christ. And it's, it's even, in, 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 uh, I forgot which, which scripture it's about, encourage one another uh, through faith and works of good deeds. So um, um, we, you, you, you'll know that you're of Christ by the, by the deeds and the work and the, and the fruit that you bear, you bear from your work. So, um, you know, Talking about somebody who's uh, just received salvation, who's trying to see the salvation, or who's just been pushed to the side because they fell short, um, you know, is not what the body of Christ is. That I don't. That that's that's not what the body of Christ is. I don't know what type of stuff that people are into, but that's not the body of Christ. Talking about other people and, and picking people down, or somebody needs some food, or they need, need help for rent, but 
you, you know, first thing to do, first thing people do starts talking about people like they, they feel like nothing, you know. And this is what causes a lot of discouragement. This is what causes people to not want to um, socialize with, with, with so-called Christians or just people of faith because of this, because of the past and because of all the, and the, the Father, the Holy Spirit is telling me that all that stuff is being done away with. Like you're going to know uh, the true body of Christ. You're going to know the true people of the body of Christ because you're going to feel it. You're going to feel the fellowship. You're going to feel the love. You're going to feel the unity. And like I said, when you're going through things, you ain't going to have no problems confessing what you're going through because you're going to have your brothers and sisters around you who's going to lift you up in prayer. This is going to be love, nothing but love coming from their heart and lifting you up because we all know we fall short of the glory. But we we have our brothers and sisters to lift us up. So you're going to know that you're true, truly part of the body of Christ when you're around people like that. When they don't gossip about you, the only they, what they do is that take that energy that they use for gossip and turn it into prayer to the Father Abba to help you in the situation, to better your situation. You know, this is what it's supposed to be about. This is what it's supposed, how it's supposed to be done. I'm sorry for being on fire. That's the way the Holy Spirit comes to me right now. But there's a lot of people who fell short. A lot of people who were just turned off by God just because of brothers and sisters who are supposed to be part of the Christ, a body of Christ, that turn people off. And and, and, and and that same person that you may turn off and bash and stick your nose up to, that may be the very person that may be able to save your life into something, you know, be able to help you out. Maybe that person has a powerful prayer life. That person is able to intercede for people, but there's people bashing that person because they got tattoos or they've been through this, they've been through that. They feel this. The devil's already working on them, making them feel ashamed for their past. Now here you come being, you know, people being used by the same very devil that's using them and working through them and and, and causing that person to even feel more convicted, you know, when they're not supposed to. That's when you know that you're not really around good people that's supposed to be at the body of Christ, you know. So uh, I'm not going to talk down on those people too because those two, you know, we all fall short of the glory. So I'm just saying as far as what um, the Abba, the Holy Spirit places in me and um, and he's telling me to pray for those people too who who causes people to feel uh, ashamed, discouraged, to pray for them as well. So they could get it right, you know, so they could uh, resemble, um, not resemble, but uh, to be an example of the body of Christ, what it is. So if you got your congregation, if you're a pastor, minister, and you got your congregation, and you got that stuff going on in your congregation, the Holy Spirit is visiting a lot of people, and a lot of things are being done away with. And in order for you to minister a pastor, a, con a congregation that Jesus Yeshua has given you um, over to be the uh, shepherd of the sheep, um, you must attend to your flock, and you must attend to the, your, 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 your flock in a way that Jesus Yeshua would have attended to his flock and his sheep at the time. Um, Jesus was straight up with people. He didn't he didn't cut corners, you know. As he even said, you know, I didn't come to bring peace. I came to bring a sword. Um, mother would turn against a, 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 a daughter, daughter against a mother, mother-in-law against you know the, you know that's when you're into the faith, the truth, when you know the truth, and you're walking with Jesus Yeshua. You know, it, it causes a separation from people, from the wheat and the tares, from the real and from the fake. It causes a separation. So if you got to lose some members who don't want to get it to write, to write together, I mean, after through prayers and, you know, trying to um, uh, talk to the, your, your congregation and the, uh, it, seems, it seems like nobody wants to, to move in the right direction in spirit and the fruit of the spirit, which is love, uh, peace, unity. If they don't want to move in the fruit of the spirit, guess what? That's a bad fruit. That's bad fruit. You're producing bad fruit in your church. You're pr producing bad fruit in your congregation and with your sheep, um, with the fold. So guess what that is? That's not of the body of Christ. That's not, um, you're producing fruit that may contaminate the whole, the whole, um, the whole um, congregation. And you need to attend. This is what, um, um, you know, it's all about is attending to the flock as well, making sure everybody's spiritually lifted up. So, um, you know, in God's ministry, you know, it, it, it's for, it's, it's first of all, the name is God's ministry. This belongs to God Almighty. They're saying, I didn't put my name, I'm not bashing nobody. But this is not my ministry. This belongs to the Lord. Um, everything I do is for him. I don't do nothing for myself to show off of any nothing. Um, I do everything for him. And it belongs to him. The ministry belongs to him. I'm just co-partner with the Lord, with Jesus Yeshua. I'm co-partners. So everything belongs to him. And it's not my ministry. I do not speak of myself. I don't want no credit. 
what, what the, the, the joy that I get is when the Abba, the Heavenly Father says, you've done a good job to help this person. You've done. And I have, you know, through the power of the Holy Spirit, with guidance, how, however God uses me, I'm very happy and pleased to be used. I don't look for anything, help um, for this person to give me money, anything. The Abba really takes care of me. Abba, he really takes care of me. I don't look for money. I don't, I don't ask for money. I, I do have a, a donation thing on my stuff. If you want to donate, you donate. But the Abba, God's been good to me, and He's gonna always be good to me, you know. As you know, um, and, and I'm telling this for people, for, for I don't know why, but I'm speaking to a lot of ministers and pastors and people who who may even look at me and say, "Who are you to be talking like the way you're talking?" Do you, you know, people may say and and be in conflict with themselves and say, "You know how long I walked with God, and for to have you, you probably young in the faith, you probably don't even." I'm telling you, and you can you can confide with the Holy Spirit. To see if what I'm saying is real or not, or if it's something I'm just speaking, you know, um, you know, God uses who He uses, but um, I know everybody has their walk with God. I'm not dismissing anybody's walk with God, but sometimes um, this is why we want to stay in the Word, keep our swords sharp in the Word, to know how we walking with God is we walking in the right way. If we walking in the flesh, or we walking in the spirit, and that must be attended to. Because I have to attend to myself every day to see if I'm walking in my flesh or walking in the spirit. And we all fall short. And once I find out that I'm walking in the flesh, I apologize. I say, Abba, Jesus, Yeshua, please forgive me. Like, uh, wash me clean. Um, you know, if anybody, because of my fleshy acts that I discourage or cause them to go astray, please heal them, protect them, guide them, keep them on the right path. Because what I do influences others. So I, I'm responsible for my actions towards others, even if they're not in the body of Christ. I'm still responsible for my actions, whether I act in the flesh, the flesh or the spirit. So I always ask Abba to correct me um, when I'm not um, performing in the spirit. So um, I know that I'm, I'm not sitting here acting like I'm better than nobody. You know, I'm, I'm a sinner just like everybody else. And that's why Jesus Yeshua, I'm a sheep, came for the sinners. You know, he didn't come for the righteous. He come for the sinners, it's written. So if he if he came for me, he came for you too. If you're a pastor, you, you're a minister, you, you, you was a sinner too. You, there's nobody higher than the other. I, I don't even, you know, um, for uh, my name is my brother E. My brother E is because we're brothers, brothers and sisters in Christ. I don't put myself higher than nobody. I don't care what, the, what kind of um, fruit of the spirit that the Father has blessed me with, I'm not higher than nobody. And I know nobody's higher than me because we all brothers and sisters in Christ. So I don't, I have my, my, my special communication with the Father. Like the Father wants you to have his special communication with you. It's good to fellowship, but after fellowship, you need to have your, your, um, your time with God. You, you, he has to be visible and manifest in your life, in your everyday life. When you leave your fellowship, you leave the church, or you leave the people who you congregate with, you're going back home into the privacy of your home. Jesus, Yeshua, must be there with you. You must be walking with Yeshua. You must be walking with God and all that you do. You don't just come fellowship and that's it, and you go back. No, that's not how it's done. That's not how it's supposed to be done. That's not what the body of Christ is. And if you're doing that, then you need to check yourself, you know, and understand that, once you congregate with other people, it's okay to fellowship. But once you go home, that's when the real work begins. That's when the real fellowship, when you have fellowship with Jesus, Yeshua, and you're walking with him every day, every way, and you're learning about him in his way, that's real fellowship. Okay, so I just wanted to put that out there because um, there's just people who are, are bashing people um, and, and, and making discouraging people, discouraging people for being um, Christ-like. You know, making them feel um, like, you know, oh, you don't know what you just started or make, you don't know. Um, when I get around people, I don't care who they are. They they know. They know. Because I come straight and I come straight from the spirit. If you're in the flesh, the Abba's going to reveal it, you know. Um, especially, that's why a lot, a lot of people who are not what they're supposed to do, they don't like being around me. They hate me. <laughs> they hate when they say, oh boy, here he comes. Because when you're in the flesh and people, um, and, and you're in the spirit, because I, I, I try to stay in the spirit all the time. 
they we we uh they both recognize the flesh and the spirit recognize each other and it's a forever battle so if someone's in the spirit all the time and somebody's in the flesh and they come together it's going to be a battle because the spirit is going to cause the flesh to recognize what it's doing and then the flesh is going to battle with the spirit for the spirit not to show forth what the flesh is doing so there's going to be a battle that's why there's an inner battle that's why there's a lot of dislike with people who are supposed to be of the body of christ when they come together there's a battle because there's people in the flesh and there's people in the spirit and if you in the body of christ you're not supposed to be in the flesh you're supposed to be in the spirit and communion with the holy spirit jesus yeshua Mashiach. okay i'm gonna leave it off like that because i was like you need your rest but Sometimes I just want to go on. The spirit comes. I want to speak. I want to speak. But I'm going to be obedient. I'm going to listen. I just wanted to post this. Uh, and for you guys to know that I love you. Uh, from Yeshua, Jesus' heart, I love you. I can't love you right like a human being. But Jesus' heart, I could love you all day, every day, <laughs> unconditionally. You know? And, I, and that's the heart that I'm speaking from. So I love you with Jesus' heart. I pray for all of you guys. I pray for peace and shalom, for you guys to be protected. Be careful with the accidents. Like I said, there's a lot of um, demonic activity that's causing a lot of accidents. Even be careful driving. Um, God is telling me there's a lot of activity with this, just accidents, falls, and car crashes, um, things falling from the building, um, just um, accidents. I gave a prophecy about the planes. Be careful about that. About um, Pray for people. There was a, um, I think it was a, a plane crash in India last week or something like that. But be careful with flying. Because if you know family members still, the Abba is telling me that prophecy is still alive. So be careful with airplanes and traveling. And pray for people, your family, loved ones who are traveling. Even though some, uh, some Abba said, some of these prophecies are, are unvoidable, no matter how much you pray. But at least you can still pray. And hopefully, um, you know, there could be some survivors or just people who's not supposed to be going on those planes, won't go on a plane, you know. Um, uh, just, I'm, I'm, I'm just telling you exactly what the Father's place is in my heart. So just be careful with a lot of accidents, guys, okay. Um, thank you uh, for coming to God's ministry. My name is Brother E. Peace and Shalom.